hello viewers and welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, the arctic area which is the medical name and uh, the hives is the general name you know? uh, but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos for more information you know you know the hives uh, uh, appear on the skin as uh, the wheels that are red they are like uh, itchy they are smoothy and they are elevated areas you know of the skin often uh, with their like uh, blanched center you know and they appear in varying shapes and sizes uh, from few millimeters to several centimeters in diameter and anywhere on the skin you know anywhere on the body you know and uh, uh, it's estimated about 20 percent of uh, all the people will develop the reticulate at some point in their lives you know and uh, uh, hives are uh, more common in women than in men and uh, one hallmark of the hives are either their tendency to change the size rapidly and move around and disappearing in one place and appearing on the uh, other place you know uh, often in hours and an individual uh, hive usually lasts no longer than 24 hours and an outbreak that looks uh, uh, impressive even alarming you know and uh, first thing is in the morning can uh, be completely gone by the moon you, uh, noon you know and uh, uh, only to be back in full force uh, later in the day and uh, it's very few skin diseases occur and uh, then resolve so rapidly you know so even if you have no evidence of hives uh, to show the doctor when you get to the office for the examination so it's it comes and goes so quickly you know and uh, uh, you know, the diagnosis can be established based upon the accurate uh, recounting of your symptoms and signs, you know. And because the hives fluctuate so much and so fast, it's uh, helpful to bring along a photograph of your outbreak and uh, it will help the doctor to diagnose the hives of the articaria, you know. And uh, usually, uh, the swelling dis uh, deeper in the skin that may accompany hives is called uh, angioedema, you know. And uh, this swelling uh, of the hands and the feet as well as uh, the face, which means it involves the lips and the eyelids, you know, uh, can be uh, dramatic as uh, uh, it is uh, brief, you know. Now, the next thing is what are the causes? Well. Hives appear when histamine and other compounds are released from the cells called the mast cells, you know, and uh, which are normally found in the skin. You know, and uh, hives are uh, a very common and not considered uh, contagious and uh, although they are annoying uh, usually resolve on their own you know and uh, in the period of week or uh, rarely is the medical uh, problem you know and some hives may be caused by the allergies to such uh, things as foods infections by the different organisms medications <coughs> and insect stings and bites, you know, or the chemicals. And, uh, but the majority of, uh, has no cause and uh, no specific reason is found here. And uh, although people may find uh, it frustrating not to know what has caused their hives and uh, maneuvers like uh, changing the diet, changing the soap, or uh, uh, makeup are helpful in preventing the hives unless there is an excellent uh, 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 temporal relationship you know and the hives most often are, are the condition which is not contagious and if an infection uh, infectious disease were the cause 
of the hives in the particle person, then it is possible, but not likely that the infected con uh, can uh, uh, contact should be develop the hives for another person, you know, but it is very rare. And uh, having the hives uh, may cause stress, uh, uh, but stress itself uh, does not cause hives. Okay, so hives can cause stress, but stress does not usually stress does not cause hives, you know. And uh, hives uh, fall into two categories. Uh, one of, of uh, the basis of the time they have been present, like uh, uh, acute urticaria, which are also known as ordinary hives, uh, which resolve after six to eight weeks. Uh, uh, six to eight weeks, yeah, and the chronic urticaria, which is uh, that continues longer than the six to eight weeks. So, since hives have no common and the acute urticaria by definition, so resolve spontaneously. So, physicians do not generally expend uh, much time or expense to evaluate the cause of the hives or uh, uh, of less than eight weeks duration. You know, so uh, the next thing is, uh, what are the signs and the symptoms well the ordinary hives uh, flare up suddenly and usually uh, for no specific reason and uh, the welt spear often in the several places they flare the itch the swell and uh, go away in a matter of minutes to hours you know and uh, uh, and may appear on uh, any other site, you know. So they come and go. They come very fast, they go very fast. Okay. And uh, the sequence uh, may go on for a few weeks to days to weeks, you know. And uh, the most episodes of the hives last less than six weeks. Although uh, that cutoff point is uh, arbitrary, you know. And the causes of the hives that last more than six weeks are uh, often called chronic. So it's cute and chronic. If less than eight weeks, it's cute. If it lasts more than eight weeks, it's called chronic hives or chronic urticaria. You know. And uh, as I said earlier, the many cases of the ordinary hives are idiopathic. So idiopathic means where we do not know what is the cause, you know. And uh, other may be triggered by the viral infections, maybe any detergents, maybe any chemicals, maybe any medications, you know. And a few may be caused by medications, as I said. And usually when they have been taken for first time, uh, a few weeks before, you know. And uh, it's uh, uh, uncommon for the drug taken continuously for long periods to cause hives or other reactions, you know. Uh, when the medication is the uh, implicated as a cause of the hives, the drug must be stopped uh, since testing is rarely available to confirm the cause and the most uh, cases uh, which are drug-induced hives will go away in few days, you know. And if a drug is stopped and the hives do not go away, and this is a strong uh, indication or evidence that the medication was not causing these hives, you know. And uh, some medications like uh, morphine uh, or uh, uh, codeine, aspirin and other non steroidal uh, anti-inflammatory drugs <coughs> which are known as NSAIDs, you know, uh, like uh, ibuprofen or Advil, you know, cause the body to release histamine and produce articaria through non-allergic mechanisms, you know. So despite uh, the reputation of the hives being an allergic condition uh, there is often no uh, obvious connection so uh, to any provoking substance you know and uh, in this situation the random allergy testing is not usually helpful and if you know what is causing your hives uh, then avoid the cause and uh, if possible uh, is a very good uh, preventive option, you know, to stay away the uh, like uh, irritants, you know. Now, there was 
And then it says, what are the causes of the chronic hives? Well, the chronic hives can last from months to years, and the evaluation of this condition is difficult. And the allergy testing and the other lab tests are only occasionally used in such cases, you know. And the accurate evaluation of this condition requires the patient to give his or her physician a precise information regarding their complete medical history, personal habits, and oral intakes, you know. And uh, uh, occasionally it uh, may be necessary to limit the specific foods or the drugs for a time to observe any effect uh, upon the skin condition and the certain uh, like systemic diseases and infections may occasionally present in the skin as uh, hives you know and if an uh, like uh, uh, insulting cause can be determined then the specific treatments for that condition uh, are to be effective or in uh, the case of the food or drug allergy the strict avoidance would be necessary in that case you know and uh, there are additionally rare forms of chronic arteria that are arteria that are produced when the patient makes antibodies against the molecules uh, on the surface of their own uh, uh, like uh, mouse cells you know and uh, there are tests available to identify in this type of hives and the physical arteria, for example, heat hives is a type of the chronic arteria produced by the physical stimuli. And the common environmental uh, provocations such as uh, sunlight, water, cold, heat, exercise, uh, and uh, pressure occasionally induce the hives, you know. And the uh, uh, demographism is, uh, which literally means that the skin writing is a common cause of the uh, physical arteria as the most people the right uh, on the skin, you know, to remember the things, you know, it's not a good idea. And uh, uh, this is an uh, exaggerated form of uh, what happens to anyone when their skin is scratched or rubbed, you know. And uh, the red welt appearance at the site of the scratch, okay. Now, another common uh, form of the physically induced hives is called cholinergic urticaria. And the cholinergic urticaria has produced, uh, it produces hundreds of the small, itchy, and uh, bumpy lesions, you know. And these occur within 15 minutes of exercise or the physical exertion. And uh, are usually gone before uh, you see a doctor so they disappear very quickly and this form of the hives happens more often in the young people you know now the next thing is uh, uh, are there any other conditions which mimic the hives you know there are other rashes that may look like the hives you know uh, but the fact is that uh, uh, they remain stable and do not resolve within 24 hours and is helpful in distinguishing them from the hives you know and uh, such rashes may need to have a small specimen of the skin removed and examined under the microscope and this procedure is known as biopsy you know and uh, it helps to determine the nature of the skin disease you know now some uh, doctors um, may feel comfortable uh, caring for the patients with the chronic urticaria, but the most dermatologists and the allergists are able to care for the patients with urticaria. And uh, the goal of the treatment in most cases uh, of the ordinary accurate urticaria is to relieve the symptoms while the condition goes away by itself, you know. And the most commonly used oral uh, treatments are antihistamines, uh, which help uh, oppose the effects of the histamine leaked by the mast cells, you know. And uh, the main side effect of the histamine is the drowsiness. And uh, if you are on uh, doing any kind of mechanical work, so after taking these histamines, uh, you should not work. Mechanical work or driving or any construction work. 
um, because there is chance of uh, drowsiness, you know, so which can which can be dangerous, you know. And uh, there are many types of the histamines which are available in the market, and uh, some are available over the counter. And if not, uh, your doctor can prescribe those. You know. And uh, sometimes the steroids can also be used, and the tropical therapies of the hives are available, uh, but are generally ineffective, you know, and they include creams and the lotions, you know. And uh, applying the uh, cool compress may also help to soothe the itching in case of hives. And the prognosis is very good, you know, generally, as I, I said earlier, uh, uh, sometimes too, you don't need any treatment and by the time you reach to the doctor, the hives are gone. So the prognosis is good. And it's not an emergency. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you know, sometimes the hives also appear as uh, in case of anaphylactic reaction, you know, so that could be the serious. You know? But generally, it's not. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Keep watching. Goodbye.